Our research around pre-hospital outcome measures aim to develop new measures for ambulance services over and above response times. We've worked with ambulance services nationally and internationally. We've also worked with other academic institutions and patient and public groups to develop this research. When we started to look at this issue, ambulance services were measured on response times. But as you can imagine, as more and more different types of care are provided, time is not a, not a good measure of the quality of care that's being provided. And we wanted to develop measures that actually reflected the clinical care that ambulance services were providing more and more. What we did was to review existing measures, to interview patients, look at policy documentation, to come up with a range of priorities for which measures should be developed. And then we linked ambulance and hospital data to develop a new set of potential measures that could be used for, by ambulance services and others to compare how services were doing but also to measure improvements in services over time. And that's had a big impact in the way that ambulance services are now measured. It's now been implemented as part of the DO Ambulance Research Programme and the new ambulance measures that have been adopted across England. We went on, after we developed those initial measures, to work with ambulance services, particularly around improving the care of people with heart attack and stroke. And we were funded by the Health Foundation with a half million pound grant to do that. And actually we worked with all of the ambulance services in, in England and demonstrated improvements, very significant improvements in heart attack and stroke care. What it means is that people are getting the right care at the right place in the right time to ensure that they improve and it reflects the, the great work that ambulance services are trying to do to try and improve outcomes for patients.